closer Oh mommy, yeah, yeah, yeah She said, will you be my soldier? Oh mommy, yeah, yeah, yeah She want to wine and dine my sofa Oh mommy, yeah, yeah, yeah Back it up on me like I told you Oh mommy, yeah, yeah So we're trying out coals. Let's go. We need cherry tomatoes, but I only found these, and these are wrapped in plastic. So we're gonna switch to like normal big tomatoes. And a couple of sweet potatoes. Currently, um, we're not able to buy coriander because it's all wrapped in plastic, and it only says please recycle. So I'm not sure if, if it's recyclable or not. So I'll leave it here. I'm happy. I'm happy that this one is wrapped in plastic. So. Apples. So it's metal and glass, so you can either reuse them or um, recycle them. We cannot find any kind of cluster without plastic in the package, so we change and we do couscous. Olive oil, glass, easy. Tacos, plastic free is super easy. It's all in paper and glass. Degradable sandwich bags. If you want to have some food on the go. Ella in Australia is completely in plastic. I don't understand why, because in Austria and Germany it's not. But we found an alternative, so here we go. Honey, also hard to find in glass. Now we want to buy some fish or meat over here. So they usually use plastic. So I thought about just taking these paper bags from the vegetables and ask them to put it in here. Fish fillet, please. Can you put it in here? The fillet? So it works. Also got the chicken, chicken in paper. Chai. Chicken child. Chicken child. <laughs> and now we have everything. Chicken child. Chicken child. Okay. <laughs> I did it, 100% plastic free. Not too bad. I needed like half an hour. What? Yeah. Not 100%, 99.9. Because I need sour cream. Great job. I need to tell her not put it in plastic. Just ask her to put it in our bags and it works. Otherwise, you would get like thousands of plastic bags. Like thousands. filming um, shopping next to us and it was uh, Roger Federer, the best tennis player in the world and I didn't know and I used him as an example of using so many plastic bags which is quite funny because he told me please stop filming and I thought like how could he hear me talking about him because I was talking right but then I realized oh fuck it's Roger Federer and he asked me not to film because yeah he, he was there with his family <laughs> talk about this but <laughs> we can um, and yeah we are going on a little mission because we need some photos for our media kits together so a media kit is basically what you <laughs> what you add to the email you send to companies so we are going to take some nice pictures together because Leo told me we don't have nice pictures together which is <laughs> wrong in my opinion but <laughs> whatever we found a cute little street today um, it's full of graffitis and stuff so we are going to take some dope ass pictures for our media kit <laughs> found our first little accessoire for the photo shoot <laughs> what else can we find again. okay we cannot take the trolleys because they are together for every photographer 
the golden hour starts right now so best light to take photos so we found the location we want to shoot at and yeah we have all this fitties here and this is our place to put the camera on there we have all the skyscrapers fitties and leone Leon. We took the first photo, looks pretty dope. My girlfriend is getting hey, changing hey, hey. her outfit. Hey. Me too. So yeah. Let's go for the second location. We just did the second location. This white building right here. We were sitting on top of here and standing. She is getting changed again. <laughs> and now we are looking for a third and last location because then we have no sunlight anymore. Yeah, I think maybe somewhere over here. Our tripod works great. Fuck. There we go. Shit. Yeah, when you travel so much, you have no money to buy a tripod, you know? That's how it is. Finished location three, now we go to four and five because we still have time and yeah, my girl got changed again and this is still our tripod, it's working pretty good, what do you think? <laughs> Mikey! <laughs> Mikey! And we finished location four and yeah, our tripod was awesome, thank you so much, you are always naked baby. <laughs> For everyone wondering how we took the pictures without having a photographer with us, I can see everything on my phone right here. So for film Leo, see it on my phone. We just finished our photo shooting and now we have some nice photos for our media kit because I have a media kit already but Leo has no media kit and we want to have a media kit together. So uh, media kit, what is a media kit? A media kit is basically what you um, attach to the email you send to companies. So you um, send an email to a company, be like, hey, it's Martin, blah, 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 I want to work with you, travel, blah, 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 blah. And then you attach the media kit and the media kit is super important because in the media kit, it includes like your best photos, your best videos, it includes your statistics about where your um, followers from, um, what is your niche, what language do your followers speak, blah 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 blah, blah all this stuff. So this is super important and super interesting um, for the companies because then they have everything on one place and they can decide, okay, we want to work with you, we don't want to work with you. And yeah, that's what we needed the photos for. And I think that's basically it. And because the camera is too heavy for my girlfriend, we will end this here. Uh, we get some dinner now and see you later. Now we are ready to go home. Boom it. Back at home and I love our view. So nice to wake up next to this.